Hello guys, it's Victoria and today I want to share with you a tutorial on how to make two holiday cards with fireplaces. That is an iconic design of mine. I've made the tutorial a couple of years ago, but since then my card making skills improved a bit, or at least I hope so. Uh, so let's dive in. As a beginning, I usually assemble the backgrounds for my cards. I've made the first background of camera and uh, now I show how to make the background. As the fireplaces are really heavy, I need to make uh, a thick and firm cardboard. So I attach uh, the papers from new Lemon Craft collection Joy to the World to my card base. I use liquid adhesive as it helps uh, to move the paper a bit and to get a perfect placement on the card base. To make my uh, card front really firm, I use very thick cardboard instead of foam adhesive. Uh, it is a cardboard uh, which is used usually for book binding or, um, or for making covers for notebooks. Also, I pre-made uh, a few pieces of uh, glitter paper using regular dry glitter and adhesive, as I don't have any glitter paper in my stash. To prevent the warping of the paper, I put it uh, under the press, under something heavy, after gluing it down. Now I assemble the background using liquid adhesive and also put it under the press after adhering all the details. Here is when it becomes interesting. Uh, for making uh, a fireplace, I use a very thick cardboard. I already prepared uh, the, all the details and you may choose any size you like. For example, the size uh, of the base for my fireplace is 9 cm by 7.5 cm. Uh, you may stick to the card size you like, as my card is usually uh, 12 cm by 19 cm. Uh, this is the perfect size for my card. Uh, you may choose any size you prefer. Now I assembling the chimney together. Uh, when you gluing it down, make sure that uh, you have a straight angle. Uh, between the details. For the inner part I'm using a leftover from another project. Uh, it is a, a stencil with text texture paste. When you glue down all the de details make sure that you use a generous amount of glue. If, if something uh, comes out it's uh, not a problem because we will paint um, the chimney after uh, assembling all the details. Just make sure that everything uh, is uh, adhered firmly. In order to get some more texture, 
I add uh, leftover strips from watercolor paper. Uh, they are narrow, just uh, a little bit more narrow than the sides of the fireplace. And uh, in general, uh, their width is um, one and a half centimeter. Now I'm planning the embellishing of my fireplace. At first I wanted to use um, uh, the resin pieces on the sides, but then I decided to choose uh, little uh, die cuts. I like how they look, uh, they have a vintage feel. To create a fire guard, I'm gluing together two die cuts which remind me of it. Also, I add a few beads for more texture to the sides of the fireplace. Uh, they are rather tricky to it here, so I'm using tweezers and uh, even this way uh, they tend to fly away. When the assembly dried a bit, I'm taking a white acrylic primer and cover every detail with white. As for the inner part, I'm using a half dry brush and applying just a tiny amount of paint because I don't want it to be fully covered. I only reveal some more texture and make the color a bit faded. Now I'm covering the future fire guard with a couple of layers of gold embossing powder. Just one. 
I've wanted to create a more vintage feel on my cards, so I'm taking a black ink pad of uh, archival ink, uh, put a little amount of ink on my finger and reveal the texture on the fireplace. I'm covering only the raised areas a little bit. Of course, a fireplace needs some wood. Uh, I took a, a stick of cinnamon, uh, broke it into a few uh, little pieces, and now I assemble. Uh, it into the fireplace with the help of my little helper. You have to be really careful uh, while working with hot glue gun. Of course, um, be aware it is really hot and you can get uh, painful burns, so pay attention. Also, I glued down uh, a little amount of raffia. Now I'm adhering a fire guard and the fireplace is ready to go. The next day I worked a little bit of camera and pre-made uh, a set of um, books. And now I will show you how to make them using all the scraps that you have in your stash. You need to take uh, rectangular pieces of um, a very thick cardboard, glue them to the inside of paper piece uh, and uh, cover with this piece and cut away the leftover. Also, I fussy cut a few elements from smaller paper pad due to the world. And I want them to stay on the mantelpiece, so uh, I adhere a thin strip uh, folded uh, in the uh, bottom uh, to each piece. Uh, that way they will stand. And now I'm adhering the fireplaces to the background. I use a combination of um, liquid adhesive and also hot glue gun. Uh, the hot glue gun uh, helps uh, to uh, fix it uh, very fast. 
uh, but liquid ex adhesive uh, is uh, more durable in my mind. I divided all the elements uh, for the mantel piece uh, in uh, two parts and now asse I'm assembling on the first card. Try to place the books uh, not uh, perfect, just like in real life. I didn't cut away uh, my attempt uh, to find the perfect place and it's all working moments, you know. Uh, so if something goes wrong, you may take the element away, uh, hide uh, the place uh, where it was adhered and try something else. Nobody's perfect, at least I'm not. Now time comes for the second card. As you can see, I divided uh, the working process uh, in logical moments uh, because uh, it takes so much more time uh, to assemble a fully one card and then another because you need uh, special tools or special elements and uh, it is much more easier and handy uh, to have them uh, when you need and to use them just uh, once. Also, I'd like to share with you a few of my thoughts about the amount of details on the card. As for me, I love enormous um, number of details, but uh, you don't have to use as much as I do, uh, just f uh, follow your instincts, add as much as you want. I am sharing the general idea 
you don't have to follow my tutorial step by step uh, vary the details uh, vary the composition uh, that is just the one the way uh, as I create As the base for my flower arrangement, I'm using a beautiful poinsettias from the paper Joy to the World. I fussy cut them uh, and now I'm adding uh, leftover pieces of thick cardboard instead of a foam tape uh, to create some dimension. Also, I absolutely love when some elements uh, come out of a uh, perimeter of the card. Uh, it helps to spread the composition and to add more details and I always want more and more. Uh, so, if you use uh, for adhering such element a piece of foam tape or a piece of cardboard, uh, turn the card down and uh, make sure that uh, the adhesive is not visible from the inside because uh, you want to, of course to create a neat and a beautiful project from all the sides And now it is time to add more embellishments. Uh, first I used metal buttons from Minecraft and now I have uh, the holy leaves uh, which are stamped uh, heat embossed uh, and colored uh, with a watercolor. Also when I created uh, these holy leaves I covered the berries with a clear glossy gel in a couple of layers, so the berries are really dimensional, shiny and realistic. Also, I always encourage you to uh, cut uh, the stamped pieces or die cuts uh, into necessary elements. You don't always have to use uh, the die cut or anything else just as it is uh, you may vary it uh, to your needs to your project
When I assemble the flower composition, I always prefer to use hot glue gun because it dries really fast and also it helps to create some dimension. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and all lang syne? For all lang syne, my dear, for all lang syne, we'll take a cup of yet for all In order to make more fluffier, uh, more dimensional flower arrangement, I use raffia and sisal. And now I started to add my handmade dimensional flowers. Honestly, I think that uh, it is okay to use flowers in holiday, Christmas, winter projects because nowadays you may find uh, any flowers you, you wish in the flower stores. Uh, and also it is a traditional decoration of, for the house. So. Uh, I'm okay with that. Thank you. 
I wanted so much uh, to use these uh, light bulbs die cuts. They're so beautiful and stunning, but unfortunately, not this time because there is no room left on my card. When I arrange a few flowers, I always try to mix different shapes and different colors so you can uh, differentiate any flower and it's uh, not looking like a mess. I think that uh, red and white berries help to create a uh, holiday mood. So I add a uh, few of them uh, on my cards. And uh, when I add a berry, I try to look and uh, think of where I need um, the red color or white color. Uh, so then I can balance my card a bit more. Queen, 
unfortunately I haven't filmed uh, the process on making these icicles uh, because I made them uh, last month but let me explain in few words uh, I took a piece of uh, clear acetate uh, drew with a permanent marker the outline of the icicles and cut out using scissors then I removed uh, the marks from the marker using uh, alcohol uh, in spray and uh, a cotton ball uh, when uh, it was clear when the plastic was clear I took a clear a glossy gel uh, which I usually use uh, for the dew drops on my flower cards and covered uh, the acetate with it. I sprinkled uh, over the uh, wet gel a bit of a clear distress glitter and when the gel was dry I added another layer on top and uh, again uh, added a bit more glitter. Uh, you need to dry it really really good uh, and uh, when it dries it becomes clear and looks a lot like a real icicle also i found a few uh, jingle bells and uh, white soft uh, pom-poms in my stash so i wanted to add them to my card unfortunately i lost uh, the focus on my camera uh, just for a little bit of time so sorry for that sometimes it's difficult to film and think at the same time uh, but um I try to look and see where I need a red accent and a white accent and add a berry to that place By the way, uh, when you use uh, hot glue to adhere metal elements, uh, be really careful because uh, they get uh, really, really hot, really fast. So apply a bit of glue and uh, adhere it, it right away. As for these tiny cones, uh, they are from the tree, uh, I think it's called elder in English. Uh, I found it uh, nearby and it is the only place uh, where I can get such embellishment for my cards.
And of course, uh, what a holiday card without snowflakes. I took uh, beautiful uh, delicate die, die cuts um, of different size and um, I tried to place them under the focal points of the card. Um, I think it's the best placement uh, for them. Many people wonder why I embellish the backside of my cards. Well, first of all, uh, I use uh, a great amount of details, so it would look strange without embellish embellishing the backside. Uh, another reason is that the front side gets really heavy uh, with all the decoration. And the card uh, wouldn't stand without uh, decoration on the back side. Uh, in, that is why exactly I used uh, thick cardboard for the background uh, in this case. Uh, because uh, the fireplace is really extremely heavy and it would even bend the card if it, would, uh, if it wouldn't be firm. I decided to add uh, tiny Christmas ornaments uh, to the cards uh, and I cut them out of uh, smaller 6x6 Joy to the World paper pad from Lemoncraft.
Also, I think that these mittens look so adorable. So I wanted also to use them on my card. Uh, it is like a scene when you came home from uh, frozen outside, from snowy weather, and you need uh, to dry <clears throat> your clothes uh, near the fireplace. When I adhere raffia, I always try to make something like a loose bow. Uh, I don't know, I think it's uh, the best looking way of, for placing such an element because it air, adds air and dimension. Throughout the whole video, I tried to find the placement uh, for the cup of uh, hot cocoa. I know it was fun uh, to look uh, how much I tried. And uh, in the very end, I decided uh, to hide uh, the gingerbread house a bit uh, because I wanted to add this cup so much. At uh, the end, I recalled uh, that I forgot to add snowflakes to the back side of the cards, so that is exactly what I did now.
In my holiday cards I like to create all types of snow, ice, sparkle. Uh, so I started with adding white acrylic uh, primer. You of course may use regular paint uh, to the areas uh, that I wanted to highlight. Unfortunately, I forgot to start filming at this point. Uh, so I already added a highlight of camera and um, now I um, enhance it. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot? Splatters of uh, white paint. I think it's the easiest way to add snow to your card. But honestly, I use uh, this uh, trick in almost all of my projects. I don't know, I like uh, the way it looks. And now we are almost done, it's time to add toppings. This time I wanted to use sequence of matching colors. I add them uh, on a liquid adhesive, it uh, holds them rather nice. As for the placing of sequence and other toppings, I try to follow the composition and to spread it uh, on both sides. A little tip, if you have a glue visible on your project or you uh, made some mistakes, you may try and cover it with sequence or glitter, something small, of course. As uh, the method of application of um, uh, toppings is very similar, I've made uh, the second card of camera because another way this video would last forever.
I always add uh, larger toppings at the beginning and then continue with smaller elements like glitter or ice crystals. And now I am applying gold, uh, rather big glitter. I think it adds so much shine to your card. Uh, it's one of my very favorite elements. I'm applying glitter uh, using a brush and clear texture paste, but you may use any clear glossy medium that you have. First Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so And now I'm applying clear um, ice crystals on a clear glossy gel. I'm so sorry that my head gets in the way. I needed uh, to see how good I applied uh, the uh, gloss gel. So sorry for that. I hope that you went through this uh, very long journey with me to the very end. 
and uh, I think that you may find something useful and helpful in this video. So thank you for watching, uh, thank you for stopping by and uh, happy holidays!